Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. So this is a reading for all Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you'd like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Yeah, all right, Virgo, we're doing the Celtic Cross. So let's take a look and see what the energies are for you. I'm going to lay out the spread, and then I'm going to pull some Romance Angels cards to see what the love messages are here for you. All right, we're going to... This reading will be for the next 24 hours, but um, also can play out through the rest of August, okay? So let's take a look. Spirit, please show Virgo past, present, and future outcome for Virgo. Okay, the past is the Fool. Present energy is the King of Wands. The challenge is the Three of Wands. Driving the reading is the Ace of Pentacles. Crowning the reading, the Ace of Swords. The near future, Page of Cups. Page of Pentacles in the position of your advice. What's external? The other person, the Knight of Pentacles. Hopes and fears, the King of Cups. The outcome is the Six of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Okay, so um, let's see. We've got the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, also have Aquarius energy. Oops. All right, let's take a look. If those signs resonate for you, great. If not, don't worry about it. All right, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for Virgo for this time period. What does Virgo need to know in regards to love? Okay. Mm, look, separation, same as yesterday. So you and someone are in separation perhaps at this time or were and healing family issues. Okay, there's some kind of change that's happening here. Um, there's some healing going on during a separation period. All right, be sure of that. Okay, um, forgiving parents. Somebody's forgiving their parents for perhaps the way uh, the difficulties that they have in or have had in future relationships. Um, taking a look at parents, maybe there was divorce or toxicity in caregiver relationships that set a precedent for them going forward. Um, it very well could be that the person that you're connected with um, has this they may not realize or may not have realized that there was maybe the way they were in a relationship with you um, was unhealthy or they may have just been mimicking what they saw in their past, okay? Um, there could be, for some of you, you're separated from your person because they're trying to work on some family things, whether they're going back to, if you know for a fact they're going back to a spouse to try to fix the relationship um, for others there's some healing stuff going on okay um, so healing in the sense where there could be a family member or someone they're connected to is in some kind of recovery or was ill and they needed to separate from you or the, and just remember these roles could be reversed okay so the past position is the fool okay so the energy was ripe in the past for some type of a new start a new beginning um, a, a leap of faith that was taken a risk some kind of an adventure there was like hope in the past okay and also a sense of freedom okay so let's take a look. I want to clarify the fool here and see what was what was this fool energy about. This this is somebody who was off on their own. Maybe they were hiking, or this is something that they enjoyed to do in the past, or they were traveling a lot. Um, but kind of like this person, irresponsible behavior in a sense, like. There were consequences to every step they took, but this person was very, I feel like in the past, just, oh, they're just going to do it anyway, you know. Um, Might have been a bit of carelessness, you know, like, oh, well, you know, I don't really, I think my parachute's okay. I don't really need to, I'm, I'm overthinking it. I don't need to tighten it. Like this person was not cautious with their risks that they took. They just, it looks like in the past, they just, 
went ahead and, um, you know, did whatever they needed to do. Um, but I kind of get a sense that I'm feeling possible absence. So maybe this person in the past left you or walked, you know, like abandoned your connection in the past. All right, let me take a look here. The fool, please show me the fool. Okay, the emperor. Hello, emperor. So this is Aries energy, okay? So you, they, they could have went back in the past to deal with a father figure or to release themselves from a father thing or they went on some kind of a trip with a father or it was just your person who just abandoned your connection and went about their merry way or maybe they were seeking to be a, a father or a better parent. Look, there's children there. Okay. <clears throat> or to get more stability. This person might have disengaged from your relationship in the past to come into becoming um, someone who is respectful or someone who is uh, like well-respected, you know? It, it feels like, a, like some kind of a level up energy, trying to level something up about themselves, male or female. It, it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to pull another card here okay the sun all right something to do with a child possibly or children again um this person was on a quest for seeking validation or unconditional love uh either from a child or reconnecting again with a, a child in the past or hoping to I, it feels a lot like looking back because you know this energy here yeah, these two cards, as I see them, it's like they're both looking away from this reading, away from the future. I feel like for a lot of you, this person turned inward to look back on their own childhood or how, you know, healing some family issues, taking a look at their uh, the way they were raised or how they grew up as I was saying in the beginning, or things that might have been affecting the relationship as you both know it or uh, as it was, or maybe it wasn't progressing in some way. I'm going to get one more because these are major arcanas. Okay, it's Queen of Cups. Okay, so they could have been taking a look at something with the parents. Okay. Um, Queen of Cups energy, looking at the nurturing aspect of a mother. I feel like this person maybe traveled to see parents in the past and seeking some type of validation or approval in some way because the full card makes me feel like a, like childlike energy playful you know um or going back again like i said to heal um a past relationship with a spouse or a partner um or also seeking so a lot of messages are coming to me, and please forgive me for that. And I, I know I'm trying to tap into everybody's <clears throat> energy, <clears throat> but there's an inner, there is something here. I definitely feel like they left. I definitely feel like this person, for whatever reason, you know, could be a thousand different reasons and, or whatever the things that I'm seeing here, but they definitely pulled their energy and um, disengaged. Now, currently... The King of Wands is at the center of this reading, okay? Um, so this person, you know, it doesn't matter what their sign is. What matters is this person is showing up here in your present, okay, as someone who is very much now in a leadership position, very powerful, charming, and courageous. Let me take a look here. Let me a clarifying card for the King of Wands. Well, the Queen of Swords. A lot of people showing up in this reading. So, Virgo, I feel like this is your energy, okay? Um, this person... I feel like they're, they have their focus on you at this time. Okay, this person is waiting for the right time or when they it could be there, there might be something here about travel this person may is coming back around uh, let me get the three of wands clarification here 
Oh, yeah. Waiting for the right time to make some kind of offer, have some type of new start with you here. Okay. Um, King of Wands and the Queen of Swords. Very different type of energy. The, the Queen of Swords is it very much like you, Virgo. Very truthful. Can cut right to the heart of things. You're a very good listener. Um, and I feel like there's a coming together. The, the obstacle here has to do mostly what I feel like with distance. I don't know if you guys are across the water from one another. Maybe you're across a river. Who knows? Or a big ocean. Um, this person, it, it feels like a waiting for the right time, waiting for the perfect opportunity to reinvest in something here with you. Okay, so if they went back to try to repair something with a former relationship I, or try to seek someone else or try to connect with someone else, I don't really feel like that. Yeah, that really didn't work out. That was a situation that actually left them trapped. Okay. That, that was, it, it almost kind of, it, it feels like whatever they were trying to do, it, it just didn't work out. Hence the reason why they're showing up here in your reading again. Okay, there's somebody showing up in your reading. Ace of Pentacles is here. Ace of Swords is here. There's definitely this person in their mind and what's driving them. They want to communicate with you and tell you the truth and tell you like clear the air and try to have a new um, start or a new initiation of something here. Let's get an Ace of Pentacles clarification. Yeah, put an end to these. This some type of burden. Okay, this person is like carrying a huge weight on their shoulders right now and coming towards you. The drive, what's making this person come towards you is because they, it feels like they're carrying all this baggage or this weight by themselves and they need you, they need your help with it. And I know Virgo, you're like, well, <laughs> you're not a doormat, Virgo. And don't be a doormat, look. <laughs> Look at that door. There's no mat on that door. <laughs> so, yeah, but they want to come into your house. They want to come to your home. This person might even be knocking on your door very soon. They could be bringing you some firewood. It's really weird. I, I, yeah, I just feel like they're traveling, but they have like um, a lot of baggage with them that they're coming in here with for you to bring. I don't. For some of you, it may not be. They're just drop. They might be coming towards you to drop some things off to your house. Maybe they owe you something, or they want to bring some things to you. It's interesting. It's interesting. That's what I feel like. They're they're. I just feel like expect a knock on your door. <laughs> now, if you're at a long, if you're at a distance, um, some of you, it might be, a, um, it might be like um, a, a text message that has a knock sound, like a text alert, that knock thing. I don't know if, if I'm just hearing that uh, knock, like a sound text alert of some sort or a phone call or something. Um, it's something to do with like the sound of knocking on a wood door maybe somebody here has a, a full straight maybe a wood door with an arch in it okay they might be coming to offer to fix your house or <laughs> it could even be like bringing their stuff back is what i'm hearing now i know that's not it may not resonate for all of you so like if you are at a distance to one another this could be it just feels like specifically for some of you, the knock sound on a door. Okay, somebody here might live in the mountains <laughs> or it might maybe an, an invite to come to where they are. It's very strange. Okay, the Ace of Swords. Wow, you guys, the King of Wands is back again to clarify. So this definitely is this person, same person. And the truth that they're bringing to you 
to kind of like clear the air, bring some clarity, um, is basically that they're ready to put effort and try to make something work here with you. That's what they're. That's what they've been thinking. Now they're also probably going to tell you they've been very busy and distracted and focused on whatever they're building in their life or creating. You know, at work or crafting or polishing up. They've been polishing things up in their life. Okay, they may have had to go back and sort some things out in the past with family or a spouse or just their life in general. Take a look at um, some childhood traumas. Or things like that which is why you guys have possibly been in separation but here comes the page of cups so here comes this sweet little communication from this person a new love beginning a new love start this person and they might even send you a selfie look to take a picture of themselves with their phone they might even send you a picture of themselves with a nice background or something at a beach um, or by some water. If you, I feel like some of you are kind of at a distance to one another. Let's take a look at this Page of Cups. Now this person, so the Page of Cups can represent childlike, like some immaturity. So it, it's not really a child. It feels mostly like this person is coming in to offer some peace as well. This is what some type of love messages come in. Um, they bring peace with them. It could be an apology for some. Yeah, I'm picking up an apology. What is this about? This is the near future. What is this about? <gasps> the Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh, Virgo. I just heard, I'm sorry I didn't make the offer that you needed me to make. I'm sorry I didn't come in with what you wanted and what you needed. Okay, the Knight of Cups. Romance, a proposal. I'm sorry I didn't propose then or you know I know not everybody is trying to be married but I'm, I'm sorry I didn't like bring our relationship to this like the romance aspect of it I, f I do feel like I just keep I, I just keep getting drawn back to this past energy that this person um, for some of you they went back to help a spouse with a child and for others, um, they had to help with some family thing. Okay, um, so yeah, this is this is what I feel like. This person is coming in to really bring in some romance. Uh, I, I want to say like come in and it, it could be a proposal for some of you. Okay, whether you want it or not, that's up to you. But it feels like they're coming in in the near future, maybe sometime like the third week of August. Um, they travel to see you. Um, that's like they want to come and knock at your door. They want to come and spend some time with you. Bring gifts for the kids for some of you. <laughs> if you have children, if not, um, or grandchildren, or just, you know, come with all their stuff is what I feel like. <clears throat> Being in the Ten of Wands energy it's like finally saying yes. Lightening up. Freeing themselves from whatever they were before. Okay. But not wanting to be like freedom like not wanting to have that freedom with you freedom from others or freedom from some past struggles or burdens that they were carrying around with them for such a long time all right that's strange you're giving me a lot of messages here okay the hermit yeah this person has been in isolation they've been thinking about this for quite some time reflecting on um, really needing to fulfill something for you, um, bring you that love, give you what it is that you truly wanted. You know, maybe they wanted something, you wanted something else, um, but truly coming in with this energy now could be another Virgo for some of you. Let's take a look. Your advice, Page of Pentacles. I feel like when I look at this card, your advice is to 
definitely you can look look but don't touch that's what they just said look but don't touch virgo you know you see how that pentacle is just kind of, he's he can't touch it so it's kind of like more of a concept and idea uh look at this what it is that they're coming in with and find out you got to find out if this is real before you jump in or say yes or agree to anything two of wands yep that's that's where you're at before you make any kind of a move here before you make any decision you got to look and see if this offer is real because there's something about the fact that this pentacle is floating and this guy cannot touch it there's something about it that makes me feel like it's just a little bit out of reach and it looks good and it looks like the real deal here but it's it seems like from your perspective it's you can't touch it it's not fully tangible yet it's just kind of floating there so your advice is you know see what this person is bringing in and but you you need to make sure that it's real do you know what i mean or that they're not just coming in for any other reason because they're struggling and they need your help okay because again there's no look <laughs> i'll say it again there's no doormat at the foot of your door and if there is <laughs> you should remove it as a symbol that you are not a doormat um knight of pentacles not that you feel like a doormat because you're willing to help whomever needs it but not at the expense of your uh not having anything for yourself or without reciprocity i feel like this person is willing to come in like they've been whatever they had to do in the past they're cleaning up that energy the challenge is when and i feel like this person currently is thinking about you and thinking about themselves and they do see that you are someone they are that is worth investing in but i'm not exactly sure they feel like right now they can't come in look at the two roses up there okay they can't come in just yet they gotta wait but they are coming all right knight of pentacles this person listen this is them they are coming in with this solid offer okay this is what's external to you but virgo like they're holding it in their hand here and they're taking their time coming in very slowly with this um this is not an energy of someone who's lazy this is someone who's very steady takes their time thinks through things doesn't rush into things they're coming in with this pentacle that's you can hold that you can touch but virgo you're like i'm not sure i don't know if i want to touch it <laughs> you're just mm, you're not sure you're you might even be thinking well that's all great that's a good idea that's great you know it looks good shiny beautiful pentacle but i don't know maybe some of you are fearful to to take a hold of what they offer there might be a bit of fear i don't know why i'm feeling that hmm, you've got the high priestess yeah see there's something to do here with your intuition and the hanged man <clears throat> you're not doing anything and that that is your advice you're like okay i gotta maybe see this situation from a different point of view because i don't know if you want to take something that's coming in from someone who i feel here just left you okay whether they communicated to you that they weren't going to progress the relationship or they just completely left this is more for some of you this the the fool i mean he is somewhat responsible but because in the in the reverse he's not so they may have communicated with you that they got to fix some things or do take care of some stuff in their past and left the relationship or they were dealing with other things or they just left okay and for some of you either way it still struck you the same way Let's see what else is going on with this person six of wands yeah see they're coming in they want to win they want to try to win your heart that's what their intention is here victory with you okay 
and the Ten of Pentacles. Here you go. They want to build, build this brick house with you. I don't know if you guys live in a brick house or not, but you know, structure, balance, security, uh, financial um, security, safety, family, could be an offer. This person might be coming in and inviting you to ha uh, have dinner with a family or inviting you to come work. Look, this is marriage. There's two people here with a baby and a, and a, a grandfather, okay? This might be what something that they're seeking at this time. Um, very well could be. If that's not the story, this person, maybe they're a grandfather and want you to meet their new grandchild, or maybe they want to meet yours or have a child with you. Um, it's all about family structure and balance. It's interesting. I feel like this person is, yeah, they've been going within, making ready to do this compromise here with you. I just feel like there's like some kind of compromise. I don't, like I said earlier, I feel like this person wanted something and then you wanted something, maybe two different things, but this decision is being made. You know, I, I feel like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> so let's take a look. The King of Cups, hopes and fears. So the King of Cups is, you know, um, very nurturing and supportive leader. You might be hoping this person comes in in that energy, very tolerant, empathetic coming in healed, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, emotional, emotionally balanced. Definitely, you're hoping that whoever your person is, that they come in like, they might have been emotionally imbalanced in the past, meaning very inconsistent on an emotional level in and out of your life in a lot of ways. So that's Sagittarius energy there. Let's take a look. I want to get one more card here. Yep, Two of Cups. Again, balance. Coming in together, maybe starting the relationship over, romance, friendship, starting over, having a spark, coming into union, a meeting of the minds, agreeing, being in alignment, wanting the same things, um, partnership, both of you choosing together, reflecting. There's diversity in this relationship, so there's differences between the two of you, but coming into union anyway and finding common ground. Now the outcome of this reading looks beautiful. I, I see celebration, victory, harmony. I see self-sacrifice and loyalty here. And this Knight of Wands, like all of that coming in on that horse with a passionate drive from this person. Um, and for both of you, I feel like this person is really going to try to make some kind of sacrifice, like a sacrificing self, whatever it takes to come towards you. And there might be travel here for some of you. You know, I'm, I'm kind of uh, picking up like this uh, very sp free spirited. Let me just get another card here. King of Pentacles. Wow. I can't believe all the people showing up in this reading here. So I will tell you, yeah, this person has <clears throat> maybe emotionally in, emotional instability, but they do show up here as this King of Pentacles as an energy. Okay. However, the energy is this person has a very passionate, strong energy. They also have a very, um, a deep emotional side to them, but they're also coming in very stable here at the end. And the King of Pentacles is solid, 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 and ready to invest. And also this person could be coming in with a lot of financial gains as well. It feels like um, very resourceful, you know, able to give, has from, uh, can give an, a uh, from a pool of resources for something that maybe you are hoping to have with this person. It just feels like they're coming in with this, these solid offers here for you with these pentacles, but you're hesitant, Virgo. You're hesitant. You know, you're trying to 
see it, see it from a, a new perspective, like going within, because I feel like your mind is kind of set in a particular way at this point, especially if there was separation that maybe you gave up and thought, well, it's never going to happen. It's I'm not going to invest in this anymore. Um, my person told me that they wanted to break up and they were going back to somebody else so they had other things to take care of. And Virgo, you might have just gotten to a point where you just said, forget it. And for some of you, this person just left or just abandoned you, which is very traumatic experience for you to have you know so it's kind of difficult for you to come back from that right even if they told you they were leaving it's still difficult for you to come back from that and i don't feel like i feel like this person is i don't know if they needed this separation and to uh sort some things out in their heart and mind about what they wanted um but they're coming back fully healed here which is what you were hoping for but you know where are you now virgo you're hesitant. Okay, yeah. So I wasn't asking anything, so I just pulled the card. Let's get a couple of love messages. Oh, excuse me. And see what the energy is here. I love messages from this person. Okay, this one was flipped. I don't know how to let you go. Okay, this person, <laughs> they had no intentions of letting you go, Virgo. Not... For the long term okay i fear that you will reject me they do they have a strong fear of that and i feel like that's why the hermit is here with a lot of internal reflection about how to come towards you and to make this offer here and now your true love is already part of your life okay you came closer than anyone to this person virgo you speak to this person through music somehow i don't know what the attachment is to music but they can hear you they do wish i wish i had treated you better there's an apology coming here for whatever they did or choice they made because it hurt you i know i messed up everything detach with love to clearly see the truth virgo you got to get out of some kind of denial stage like you're trying to make something real um, in your life manifest real things in your life and this person coming in with this solid offer you're not sure if you either want to touch that again uh, you're taking some time to yourself to gain new perspective on your life about your emotions how you feel deep inside what you really want you might be in mystery mode right now not communicating with this person holding back some secrets um, because i feel like as yesterday's right here at crossroads and you're not exactly sure which way you want to go at this time all right i'm sorry there's the apology coming in and with uh making it up to you with some kind of solid offer um a couple of charms you guys let's see what the charm energy is oh okay well we've got a dragon hmm so i'm kind of feeling like third week of august that this energy is going to start playing out but these are the messages i'm putting up today but here's a dragon so i don't know how a dragon would resonate for some of you um like a dragon fire, fierce. I'm feeling like very fierce energy from this person or the energy surrounding it. Um, I don't know all that much about dragons, honestly. Um, if you guys wanna leave comments what your interpretation of, because all I'm picking up, they're telling me fierce, fire breathing dragon, like passion and fire. This person's coming in like that. I, I feel like dragons can be very protective in their defenders as well so it's a very def defending type of an energy from this Whew, i just got chills okay and we have a padlock here yeah like they're gonna try to melt your heart <laughs> it's all locked up and you threw away the key virgo they're gonna try to come in with this dragon energy and just try to melt your heart maybe you have like a some of you might actually have like a dragon like a a bearded dragon or a pet <laughs> kind of thing or maybe have statues around your house where there's dragons or somebody might have like a dragon tattoo but this padlock kind of feels to me like there's no key here 
So you you might be just very casual with this person, but your heart is completely locked up now from them, not from other people, just from them. Okay. So we have a camera, a baby foot. Okay. So let me see. Give me the en energy here from this camera. Hmm. I just heard that song photograph from Def Leppard. <clears throat> All I have is a photograph. I don't want you. I don't need you. All I have is a photograph. So I don't know how that would resonate for you. Maybe that was a song somebody liked or a song you like, or maybe if you read the lyrics, um, I feel like it's coming from this person. Um, well, not the part that they don't want you or need you. I think those are the lyrics. I'm not sure, but it's definitely all I have is a photograph of you. Okay. And this baby, baby, um, footprint here. And I'm, I'm just hearing footprints in the sand, that old, um, poem very significant but this baby footprint is um like a like um like um on a on a birth certificate it feels like a birth certificate but this is like a step there's a step being taken here baby steps okay this fool card always reminds me of like it's the it's the zero it's the o you know it's like the it's like the egg, <laughs> you know, it, it's like the beginning. It's like the, the beginning. I feel like your person went back to take care of some business or left to take care of some stuff. And they were seeking, perhaps trying to find happiness in somebody else in the past. And, you know, but this person, for a lot of you, it feels like they, I keep, I'm sorry, but I keep getting drawn back to this past energy. This person went back to to sort some things out with some family stuff here that was going on with them but i, I know it's like crazy I, I don't ever once i'm done with this past reading i always move on to the next but something here keeps drawing me back to that and i'm not really sure sure but i will say there is definitely like this person was a fool definitely they went back like the fool he knows nothing he doesn't think about things. He's like a baby walking through the house and climbing up on the countertops without even thinking of the consequences, you know? And, and I feel like they were very foolish in the past, whatever they were trying to sort out for themselves. Um, definitely taking a look at that self-sabotaging energy or playing the victim, okay? So Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. Wow, this went on almost 40 minutes, which is that's what happens when you do Celtic cross readings. But I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to leave it right here for you. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, bye.